Hi, in this video, I'll show you how you can create awesome images for your storyline projects with the help of Microsoft PowerPoint. Hi, I'm Mark Sperman from Upward Online Learning, where I teach you how you can create e-learning modules yourself with Articulate Storyline. And are you new here? Then don't forget to hit the subscribe button and click the bell notification icon so you won't miss any of my upcoming videos. Are you ready? Then let's get started. Now in PowerPoint, I've added three slides. And on the first slide, I'm gonna add an image with rectangles. So let's go to insert. My PowerPoint is in Dutch. So here it's called invoegen, but this in the English version, it's insert and go to shapes. So let's pick a rectangle for now. And I draw, draw one on my, sh on my screen, copy them next to each other, copy do, these two. These two and two on the other side. Now I will we'll select them all and I want to align them horizontally. So the spaces are equal now. Let's count them three, two, three. Yes. Okay. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to shorten this one. This, I make this one a little bit shorter. And this also a little bit shorter. So this one has to be shorter somehow. And I also do this for the other rectangles on the other side. So this way, this way, it's the same height and that's, that's one and this and fifth height. So I see that we created now the shape. What I can do is now I can select them all, right click and a, a group. And now I've created a group and now I can go to um, the fill of my group and I can uh, fill it with uh, an image or a bitmap uh, pattern. So I click for this. Now I can go to uh, insert and choose an image from file. So there are two images. Now let's select this one, click on insert and you'll see the image is on the uh, shapes right now. Now what I can do is I can draw my shape and you'll see the image draws with the shape, but I can unselect it. So you see the shape is now uh, styled but the image is still horizontal now let's add no uh, lining to the uh, to the shapes and i've created this uh, this uh, this shape now what i can do is i can click ctrl c go to article storyline uh, here you see an example but uh, let's pick uh, an empty scene and i can here paste it and now you can see it's in here. Now you see it's a little bit uh, etched. So what you also can do in particular in in PowerPoint is say save as image. And now let's save it on a proper place in the awesome images folder on my computer. So I can go over there and it says image one. That's okay save it. Now I can go back to my article storyline file, click Ctrl G and I can add an image to my storyline project. And you'll see it's a lot sharper right now. Now I can position it. And so you can, for instance, build a, a great cover slide with this uh, image. And you can also do some, uh, give this some effects, for instance, uh, a shadow. So let's give it a shadow. So you see it has now some extra depth, depth here. So that, that was for the uh, rectangles. Now let's create a new uh, image with uh, triangles. So I'm going back to uh, PowerPoint again on this slide. And we're going to do it uh, on the same way, but now with triangles. 
So let's pick a triangle here. I pick one, I copy it, I have two. Now this one I will turn so it fits in here. And what I can do now is copy this three and paste it. So we are gonna create a pattern right now. Um, I have to paste this one also. And what I'm gonna do is I want it here. So it's the same distance all over. And now I can copy this, set it here, here, and over here. Now, I think you get the idea. What we can do is the same as what we did with the rectangles. Click with the right mouse, select group, and now we can go to the fill and we are gonna fill it with a background image. This is the same that we chose for the rectangles, but let's choose another picture. For instance, this one, um, you'll see uh, the outline is on. Now let's turn it off. So you see what kind of thing you have now, but you can also select this one. So say that you want to select this one uh, with an other fill, for instance, a color from the uh, from the image. And what we can do is we can make this smaller. And you see that the image is also it jumps a little bit, but it's not that's not uh, that, that's no problem. So what we could can do now is the same as what we did uh, with our, our rectangles. Select a group click uh, save as image it will be now image 2 so I will save it so I can go to my uh, articulate storyline project and here I select a new empty slide click ctrl G on my keyboard so I can add an image really quickly choose this image and select it and you see I have created this image here now so uh, you can set text to it or for instance set it half on the screen let's this and let's preview it now how it looks so you see the pattern and you can um, for instance uh, set a title here an introduction text and a, a button to start and you have uh, a really neat cover slide so but these were uh, rectangles and triangles, but let's create a, a custom shape now in PowerPoint. So I'll go back to my PowerPoint presentation, click on the third slide, and now I'll go to insert, again to shapes, but I want, won't pick a shape now, I'll, uh, I'll pick uh, my curve item. And what I can do here is I can draw my own curves. So you see I can draw curves when I click it. It's really neat and I have my own curves. Now what I can do now, I draw it outside my PowerPoint slide. You see it's a really big curve now. Yeah. I don't I don't want that. Uh, let's make it a little bit larger. Yeah, it's falls over the screen at all sizes. What I can do now, I can uh yeah, crop it at, uh and uh certain way so let's go to insert I choose rectangle this rectangle and I place it over here this one has to go to front and now I can select both and here I can to merge shapes and if I uh, choose for subtract you see uh, PowerPoint subtracts it so I only have this um, this shape now so we can do that uh, again and again. So let's do it over here. Select them. This one has uh, unselect. This one has to go to the. This one has to go to the front. And select both. I go to merge. Subtract. So you see what shape it's gonna be. Now one time for the bottom of the shape. It's over here. Uh, let's see, I will position this here and I will position this here so I know it's the 
uh, the bottom of my slide. So this one has to go to the front. I select them both. And now I choose for subtract. Now you see we draw on some curves. Now what I'm gonna do now, for instance, is um, give this a white fill and uh, no outline. And this image I can copy and now paste in uh, Articulate Storyline. So here I click Ctrl M to paste a new uh, slide. I click, I I paste my uh, my image that I inserted or that I created in PowerPoint, but you can't see it right now. So let's insert a photo, for instance, for a, a laptop working. Let's choose this one. So let's make sure it's filled the whole slide. This one goes to the back and you'll see here that you now made a curve with this photo on the background. Uh, what we also could do is, for instance, um, give this one a color, copy it, um, for instance, beneath and make this one white and we copy them both and now you see we created uh, a lining with the two shapes so you can do uh, cool stuff with this in powerpoint and copy it to your uh, articulate storyline project or uh, make a picture of it for instance a png file uh, exp export it from powerpoint and import it into your articulate storyline project and this way you can create really awesome images for your articulate uh, storyline slides. This one can go he over here. And now let's see how it looks like in preview mode. So that looks really nice. Now you can see that you can adjust the animation a little bit by uh, making sure that the start starting button comes a little bit er er earlier on the timeline. Uh, for now it's okay. And for some inspiration, I also created another cover slide, an, animate, an animated cover slide. So let's see how this looks like. So I can replay the slide and you'll see I positioned the text a little bit, my starting button. The elements are now not on the right corner, but they uh, move in from the left. So I hope you have enough inspiration to create your own cover slide for your Articulate Storyline course. If you want to build your Articulate Storyline skills, then make sure you get my free step-by-step -step guide on how to create engaging e-learning in Articulate Storyline in less time. And I will know for sure it will help you because it shows you my exact process that I'll use for every e-learning module that I build in Articulate Storyline. Okay, you can find my free guide on artworldonlinelearning.com slash free guide. And if this video was useful to you, then hit the like button below. And don't forget to subscribe on my YouTube channel by clicking subscribe and clicking the bell notification icon so you won't miss any of my upcoming videos that I publish every Thursday on YouTube. Thanks for watching and have a great day.